how did I go from following Tabitha on the wharf to here? Wherever here is. Endora! Endora would be safe there in your school, but no bad witches could get in and get her with their bony fingers. They must have used a spell. Oh, witches using spells? Who could have predicted that? Give up and give us Endora to raise as a bad witch. You won't take my daughter out of here while there's still friends in our bodies. Have it your way. Fascinating, or did Endora just enable me to walk through that wall? Julian, what are you doing here? Oh, I have no idea. Which begs the question, what in places is going on? Why are you and these women fighting each other in front of Endora? secret as soon as you tell me the secret all that power that that blackmailer has it's gonna go away you're gonna be free you'll be free to be with me and little Ethan and Jane and we will be a family you just don't understand well I understand that I I love you and I also understand that this this blackmailer is having a meltdown Teresa okay the things that it said against you it's dangerous. I don't want to put you in any kind of danger for my sake. I want to protect you. That is why you need to tell me the secret now before things get worse, okay? And if I tell you, and you end up hating me. I'm not gonna hate you. Nothing's ever gonna destroy what we have together, ever. Just move over. I know more about computers than you do, okay? Fine. You keep searching the USB stick. I'll make sure nobody can find you. Okay, okay. I mean, JT was so smart to hide the mother load of all blackmail right here in Teresa's office. And this is the last place she'd ever look. I know. And thank God I found that map leading us here. We'd still be looking. Okay. It's all right. Uh, well, have you found anything yet? No, not yet. Teresa's secret has to be on here somewhere, along with ours. Uh, yeah, um, why don't you make sure you delete our secret, okay? The last thing we need is for Teresa to have proof that we are the ones that told the tabloids about Ethan's true paternity. Mother, there is so much on here. This really might take a while. Yeah, but at least we know that Teresa's secret is there. And when we find it, we can use it to tear Ethan away from her once and for all. Woman, why are you and these ladies attacking each other in front of Endora? She's too kind and too sweet to witness such common behavior. Oh, Endora won't be good and sweet for long. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Never mind then, Julian. Why don't you just go home? We'll talk about all this later. Well, I will do no such thing. What is it with these special effects? They can go awry. No, 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 she's safe. I'm taking Endora home. We'll discuss your questionable behavior in the morning. Oh, you let Endora be! Or suffer the consequences! 
Are you threatening me? You decide. <laughs> I say we should let these girls dispatch him. He has no right to interfere with my daughter. Or if I'm her father, for God's sake. Daddy? He's Adora's mortal father? Are you sure? You've always been a bit loose. Who says? Everyone. Everyone. Aren't those Canadian police named Mounties in honor of you? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I smell a hostage situation. Oh, Don't you? Oh, Julian, why didn't you mind your own business instead of meddling with my raising of Indora? If you think subjecting my daughter to this kind of lunacy is a sign of good parenting, think again. Oh! <gasps> Cakes, how's about a trade? We'll give you Andorra's father in exchange for Andorra. Oh, pass. What? You heard no deal. I don't care if Julian lives or dies, even if he is Andorra's father. <laughs> Tabitha, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Well, I'm not. In fact, I wish these hags would kill him. Oh. <laughs> you No, you 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 can't be my son with Julian. Why? Because I'm not dressed the part? No. If you're my son, why are you in a disguise? Why are you wearing a mask? I have my reasons. It's because you're ashamed of yourself, aren't you? You're ashamed of all the horrible things that you've done. Oh, I'm ashamed, Mother. But not of what I've done. I'm ashamed of who I am. Of what I am. But make no mistake. Valerie did the DNA test. You're my mother, and Julian's my father. Is that why you, you've gone on this reign of terror? Is it because you, you tried to pay us back for, for losing you all those years ago, or, or for not finding you soon enough? I don't owe you any explanations, but I have my reasons. You may have your reasons, but you must know that what you've been doing is wrong. You have to know that what you're doing is wrong. You must be my mother. You're nagging me already. You need help. You're not the first person to tell me that. Then you agree? It would make him happy. Who is this? Your father? What do you think I should do? I, I don't know you well enough to to assess your needs, but I, I do think that the first step is clear. Admit that I have a problem. That? And turn yourself into the police. I could call Sam, and he could come over here, and he could arrest you privately. And then, once you've made a, a full confession, then the healing process it can start. Tell me. Trust in me. Tell me your secret so I can protect you from this blackmailer, okay? I will go forward with my plan. Ethan will know that he's little Ethan's father. And I will make sure that your brother's lives are over. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I don't understand. Then please, will you make me understand, Teresa? I'm in the same position that Chad was in. You know, he had this secret that was threatening to ruin his relationship, and 
when Whitney found out his worst fears came true, it cost him the woman that he loves. And you really think that this secret of yours could ruin our relationship? That's exactly what I think. I think if you find out the truth, you're gonna leave me for good. Cross-dressing JT for leaving his directions to his stick. Oh, we're moments away from finding Teresa's secret. Oh my god, I'm in. I'm in. I can see all of JT's is dirt it, now. Is it there? Is it there? <gasps> oh my god. Can you believe this? She has been keeping quite a secret. the dirt that JT has on people. I never would have dreamed that this would be her secret. Uh, I mean, who would have thought that Muffy Harrington would even work, let alone run a call girl service? I know, I know, this is, this is actually really outrageous. And you know, I am really mad at her that she did not include me in her stable. I mean, I know more about pleasuring a man than all those amateurs put together. Okay, would you look at these prices she's charging? Ow! Oh, that is nothing compared to what I used to charge your father. What are you talking about? You were married. Yeah, so? Okay, stop, just stop. We're looking for Teresa's secret. We're not, we shouldn't be looking at Muffy's in-home delivery menu. No, 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 you're right, you're right. We're gonna take down Takasito once and for all. Listen to me, listen to me. I don't care how dark and deep and awful this secret is, Teresa, it can't be that bad to make me ever lose you. You know, you say that now. Teresa, I'm, hey, <laughs> I'm serious. I mean it. I love you so much with my heart and with my soul. You're never going to lose me. I'm sorry. Well, Chad and Whitney. Ch Chad, and, Chad and Whitney's situation has nothing mm. to do with us. Oh, I think it does. It can't. How do you know? Because I know you. I know that your secret could never be anything like Chad's betrayal of Whitney was. You couldn't keep a secret like that from me. You know, there are, are all kinds of betrayals. Look, I know that you were intimate with Jared, okay? I, you had no choice. I don't look at that as a betrayal, okay? I'm glad you I'm, don't... I'm glad you're glad, but... I don't think you're hearing me. You're not understanding me. Listen, Chad's betrayal of Whitney was a lot more than sex with another person. He betrayed her trust. He betrayed their love together. That's the difference between you and Chad. You could never keep a secret like that from me. You could never keep a secret from me that would tear at my soul the way Chad tore at Whitney's. What are you doing? I'm stopping you from having me arrested. But I, I thought that we agreed that it was the first step towards you getting you some help. Don't you want answers? Don't you want to know why I am the way I am? I, I didn't want to upset you by asking a, a whole lot of crying questions when I, I've just met you for the first time. The first time. Right. Am I missing something? What would you like to know? Uh, there, there's so much I don't even know where I would start. Ask me why I'm dressed the way I am. All right. Why wear men's clothes and women's clothes if you're a man? Is it to conceal your identity? Not really. 
well, why then? I'm dressed the way I am because of my identity. I don't understand. You and everyone else. Well, then tell me. Son, I'm your mother. Tell me. Make me understand why you're dressed like this. Why you're torturing innocent people. No one is innocent. Especially you and dear old dad. Okay. I'm gonna call your father, Julian, and, and get him over here, and then you can open yourself up to both no. of us. No! I wanna open up myself to you first. And I doubt dear old dad could take the shock to his system. <laughs> You can't sacrifice Julian to save Endora. Why not? Because he's her father. So, what's your point? You'd let your husband die? Julian's not my husband. <laughs> Significant other? Not even that. <laughs> well, he's, he's old too old to be your boy toy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'll have you know there was a time. Silence! Well, I, I... The question remains how you can let your daughter's father die. <laughs> Very easily. I'm not a good witch like Esmeralda. <laughs> right. Very well, Endora. Excuse me, ladies. I would appreciate it if you would uh, let Julian go loose. Please. Oh, oh, oh. let me think. No. <laughs> Pretty, please. Let the mortal go. He has nothing to do with what we're fighting about anyway. He does not. <laughs> Why does he? Because we say so. <laughs> Forgive me for being blunt, but your attitude is as unattractive as you are. Oh, oh bite me, beauty queen. <sighs> this is how this is going to go. We are going to kill both Tabitha and the mortal, so Endora is left an orphan. That way we won't have to worry about anyone coming after us and trying to take her back. <laughs> You'll thank us later, dear. <laughs> Afterlife. Come in. Afterlife. Make room for Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you are my passion for I don't know why you old crones are so surprised. Endora is a Lennox, after all. Oh, Daddy owes you one, Endora. These beasts will take you away from me over my dead body. I know how we can defeat these would-be witch-nappers. How? We'll use love to overpower no. them. Oh, really, Esmeralda, you know I love love. Drop the act, Tabitha, you've loved in your day. I have not. Timmy. You've loved Timmy in each of your many lifetimes. Oh, well, that was different. And you love Endora. But she's my daughter. Look at them together, Tabitha. Do you really want to risk costing Endora her father? Much less lose her to those heretics? I don't know the answer to that, Esmeralda. 
using love as a means to an end. I mean, that is a bit extreme, isn't it? Like using nuclear weapons for peace? Excuse us, ladies, but we don't have all night. <laughs> Will you both please stand still so we can give you a proper send-off? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, 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 is right. <laughs> The way we're going to win this fight is to use the power of love, the love of family. First time is, is more of a shock than I was expecting. Shock? That's cold for I sicken you. No. No. Then you'll want to see what I have to show you. Please, can we just wait till Julian's here and you can just show us both together? I don't think Dad's ready for my close-up. But you, Mom, you're a doctor. You've seen everything. Well, almost everything. You're my son. What else do I need to know? See for yourself. Ethan, um, you know about my secret. Gwen, she's back in Harmony now, and, um, well, I'm just, I'm afraid that uh, if she somehow learns what I'm keeping from you, she's going to twist things around and she's going to use it to get back at me for loving you. Teresa, it doesn't matter. Well, you might not think so. No, 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 no. Like I said before, I can forgive you for anything. Gwen has nothing to do with that. Yes, she does. How? Why? What? I don't because understand. Because she hates me, Ethan. She hates me with the passion, and I'm afraid that if she finds out what I'm keeping from you, she's going to use it to tear us apart. <gasps> oh! My God, there it is. There it is. There's a file marked Teresa Gray. <laughs> oh, oh. We are minutes from knowing her secret, and then we are going to use it to ruin her. Elder, I'm willing to trust anything but love. I've never used love in all of my lifetimes, and I'm not about to start now. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Endora, for you. Julian, come over here. Assume the formation. What are they doing? I don't know. Think love and God. It's working. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I am too. I'm sorry, I, I just didn't expect that. Like I haven't heard that before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't imagine what your life must have been like. Imagine. Imagine your worst nightmare. And that wouldn't even begin to compare to what I've had to endure. I'm so sorry. Stop saying you're sorry. I don't want your pity. I want you to do something. Do something? Yes. Now that you know what I am, what are you going to do about it? 
Teresa Gwen doesn't want me anymore, okay? Gwen is in town to finalize our divorce. Even so? Gwen cannot come between us. Gwen cannot destroy what we have together. No, you... she can, okay? She what? and her mother, they, they despise me. They blame me for ruining Gwen's life, for, for breaking the two of you apart, for, for killing Sarah, for causing her to be barren. She's not going to stop until she gets her revenge. And when she does, it's going to be too much for you to take. I love you. Not even Gwen learning your secret and exposing it could ever ruin our relationship. Oh, we are so close to finding out Teresa's secret. I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack. Oh, I know, my chest is tight too, but which is really quite a feat when you think about how big my Mother, which, not now. We are so about to hit pay dirt. Oh, I cannot wait to see the look on Teresa's face when Ethan leaves her for good. Oh, I know, the secret has to be bad enough for her to lose more than Ethan. When it's done, I want her to be alone and penniless. Okay, here's hoping. <sighs> Is little Ethan's father? Uh, oh, and she's known since Rome. But she lied to him about it. Ooh, I wonder why. <sighs> Who cares? <laughs> Main thing is, when Ethan finds out, <laughs> he is going to hate her. Elder always was a drama queen. <laughs> what are you talking about? She channeled our love for Endora. It saved us from those hateful Harrington's. Yeah, I suppose. Yes, that's right, Tabitha. Tell the truth. Oh, all right. Oh, love saved us from hate or whatever. Um, did I just read Endora's thoughts? Did she let you see that? Oh, dear. Oh, no, I've got more splaining to do. No, no, it's really... It's rather clear to me now the rumors are true. You really are a witch. I don't know what you want me to do about your condition. I haven't even known you long enough to suggest a specific course of action. You're my mother, aren't you? You're supposed to know what to do. It's just how to even start that has me stymied. Clearly, you need help, and what's happened to you is engendered emotional issues. You don't like the way people perceive you, and you get angry, and then you lash out at them be because of it. Can you blame me? They have normal lives, and I don't. It's true. You're different. But it's not that bad. Oh, you liar. Father Lanigan's blind, and even he could tell I'm a misfit. And I bet he has compassion for you, just like I do. Is it compassion or pity? Look at me, Mother. Look at me. This is why most of my record from foster care was blacked out. Because no one wanted to take care of me. And it hurt so much. It hurt so much that I had to hurt them. Them? All those who ran away from me, who made fun of me, who made me suffer. Sooner or later, I got even with them, all of them. I'm so sorry that you had to grow up alone. 
I loved you. From the moment you were born, I loved you, and even before that. And they only let me hold you. Once, just once. And then they told me that you were dead. And it was only a few years ago that I remembered the night that Alistair had you taken from the hospital. Never to be seen again. Don't you know that I hate that I wasn't able to protect you? And I know Julian has the same regrets. Valerie told us how hard your life was, but even she couldn't know how much you suffered. Just know that your father and I, we're going to do everything that we can to make it up to you. Make it up to me? How can either of you make it up to me? I am the way I am because of you. You and father. You did this to me. You ruined my life. You say nothing can ruin our relationship. What if you're wrong? You know, what if Gwen learns my secret and she uses it to get you back? One has nothing to do with the other. Even if Gwen learned your secret and she told me about it, I still would not leave you and to go to her. If you hated me enough, Ethan, you might. Well, I can't go back to Gwen if she's not my wife now, can I? No, but... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go find Gwen right now. I'm going to make her sign those divorce papers, and you, my love, are going to get a divorce from Jared. You're going to use your crane clout to make it the fastest divorce in history, and then you and I, we're going to get married, and we're going to be happy, and we're never going to hear the words Jared or Gwen ever again. Okay? Sound good? Bye. Don't leave me to go find Gwen. So, you gotta hand it to Teresa. I mean, when she keeps a secret, she doesn't kid around. Uh, no pun intended. Can little Ethan really be Ethan's son? Of course he can. The proof is on JT's USB stick. Yeah, but what's to say what, what's on there is true? Honey, JT was blackmailing half of Harmony. I mean, I saw the envelope stuffed with all that hush money. I mean, why would people pay that kind of money if it wasn't true? Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, we, uh, we did just see Chad's little secret and what JT had on him mm -hmm. was certainly true. His hot gay sex with Vincent. Yeah, but don't you think we should still double check everything? I mean, what were JT's sources? Okay, there are blood tests here. There's the date Teresa first started the birth control pill and the date of when Teresa and Ethan first made loves. Ah, which was a day after she first started taking the pill. Huh. There's no doubt about it. Little Ethan is Ethan's son. We won. We know Teresa's secret. So will Ethan. And once he does, his love for her is going to turn to hate. <laughs>
is a witch. I messed up thanks to you and Julian. You made me this way. But how could we have when you were stolen from the hospital the night you were born? Easy, mother. I'm the way I am because of the drugs you took and the booze you drank back then. And Dad, he was no better. Drinking like a fish, getting high and doing God knows what else. You both did this to me. You ruined my life. Ethan, just stay with me, please. Don't go find Gwen. I'm afraid if you do, it's going to be the end of us for good. You are worried for no reason. I love you. I love you. Nothing's ever going to change that, even knowing your secret. It's not going to change it. Neither Gwen or the blackmailer can ever come between us. Knowing Teresa's secret changes everything. We finally have the upper hand. And once I tell Ethan that he has a son, he is going to hate Teresa for keeping that from him and he's going to leave her forever. It's been a long time coming, but you are finally going to get your revenge on that little slut. Yep. If I can't have Ethan, neither can Teresa. Something bad is going to happen. I can feel it. I finally have the power to destroy Teresa. How did you hurt my daughters? Try this on for size. Get it off me!